Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating this amazing responsive table that you can use in your admin dashboard or in other section of your projects that requires a table. So you see, this is highly responsive and you can adjust each column to fit in the size of the text. So if you're new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using this admin dashboard. So this is from one of our tutorial. If you haven't watched this, I'll be linking this in the description below. So right now, for us to get started, we need icons. So I will show you how I source out my icons. So you can click on the home icon that's on your Figma. So here we are going to explore the Figma community. So you can search for view SAS here. It's an icon pack. So now once you get this, you can click on the first one here or any of the view SAS, either this or this. Then once you open this, so once you open view SAS, here you can click on assets and then you can search. So right now I'm searching for edit. So here I will drag this icon here and then I can also search for trash. I think I've done that, but let me just do it again, trash. And then we have option for trash. You can drag it and then drop it. So let me take away this. So highlight this to control X. You can now take them or move them to your original design. So this is where we want to perform our design. So I'm going to paste them here. So let me drag them out here. So after pasting these items here, the first thing I want to do here is to adjust the size of this. So I will change this to 16 each. After which here, we need to change the stroke. So now double click, make sure you're selecting. And then when you get the stroke here, we can change that to 1.2. So if it's still too big, we can just use one here. So I'll do the same for this double click here. When you have the stroke, change that to one. So once we have this, we can select the two items, press shift A to put them inside an auto layout. Now the spacing between them, I'm going to change that to 12 here. So I think 12 is still looking too much. So eight, eight is good. So the next thing is to add a text here. So now I'm just going to add a text title. So for this title, we can use a man rope because that's man rope here. So medium. So here, this is going to be 12. I'm going to press shift A to put that in an auto layout. After adding this in an auto layout, I'm going to create a fill here for this. Now that we have this, I'm going to click on this item and drag it and then put it inside this auto layout. So we have our first two items. The next thing is I'm going to add a square so hold shift and drag so I want this to be 12 by 12 so now add a stroke to this so after adding the stroke I'm going to change the color of the stroke to D 6d then 4e 6 so press enter here that's for the stroke so now we have this stroke. So let's change the border radius here to two. And then the fill should be a minus here. So I'm going to remove the fill. So drag this also and drop it in here. The next thing is to add an ellipse here. So this ellipse, I'm also going to make it as a 16 by 16. So this ellipse, we can also drag it and drop it here. So now we're going to use a plugin. This ellipse, we want it to be an image. So here, select here, and then we're going to click on plugins. Then let's search for Unsplash. So now click on Unsplash. So here we can search for person, or you can just use any words. So now I'll select this ellipse. Then we can pick any face here of our choice. So we now have that there. So now after having this, let's just quickly change the color of the trash here. So I'm going to change the color to EC37 and then 51. 
to have this color here so now we have that and then this here i think i'll maintain this color for this then for the text i think i want to maintain the same color with this icon so press i and then pick this here same color for this icon so we're done with this items here so now select this item and convert it to a component so i'm going to double click and set table components yeah table components so now we're going to create variants of this item to do that i'm going to click on the plus sign we have our first variant so in our first variant i'm going to delete this this and then this two group here so we can now select this and then add another variant here so for this we are going to take away this and also this then for another variant i can just select this and then Control d to duplicate so i will take away this here so after taking that away i will duplicate this again and then for this time i'm going to select the text inside here and i'm going to make that bold that will be our heading so let's quickly change the background of this now so for me to change the background that's for the heading i'm coming back here to where i have my fill i'm going to change that to e8 e8 ed and then f4 that will be our headers so now let's do something quickly double click on the text here once you double click on the text select this dot here to select matching layers then we just want to add a property here maybe title so it's going to be very easy for us to edit then after that we want to make sure that all the height you see the height of this is 29 and then if you select the height of this this is 36 so we want to select all these items hold shift and select them we want to give them the same height so this time i'll make that 36 so everything is now having the same height so since we are having a fixed height here so now we are done so let's start creating our table so right now i'm going to empty everything that is here so i'll double click here select this delete and then delete this item here so now instead of new shipping i'll just double click here and then i'll click so this is going to be new here driver so now we're going to select this and then or maybe new delivery man so for the truck here i'm going to delete that and then instead of set up overview so double click till you select this white item here so here let's see these are our employees here so now we have this item so let's start creating the buttons so to make this easier for us so i'm going to select this item here so where we have the property here so i will just say this is cell type so for the first one i will just say full then for this i'll just change that to checkbox then for this here i'm just going to change that to person info so for this this is going to be a cell and then for the last one here i'm going to select that this is going to be a header so right now what we need to do is go to your assets file so i'm just going to drag one of this component here so now after dragging this here so what we're going to do here let's change this type here the cell type so this is going to be a header so now on the header i'm going to change the text so let's do something here if you notice that the title here the item is not centered so let's come back in here select each of the item here and then make sure that all of these items are centered after that we can now change for this header now here i will just change that to driver name so now let's add another item here drag and drop this so this time this is going to be person info so now then this is going to be james brew here so now i can drag this to closely here so now let's put these two items inside an auto layout to do that 
I'll hold shift and then select this other item. Press shift A to make sure they are inside and also layout. So let's go back to layers so that we can see that. So the space between them, I will change that to one. After that, the next thing we want to do here is we want to make sure that this is covering everywhere. So now double click to select this item, hold shift and also select this. Now, instead of hog, I'm going to change this to fill container. So now we have that problem solved. So now here, the next thing is to make sure that these two items are also wrapped inside an auto layout. So double click on this item, hold shift and then select this item. Then press shift A to put them in an auto layout. So if you look at the left hand side here, so we can just, we have a parent and inside the parent, we have another auto layout. So let's double click and change this to table. So here for this one, we can just maybe sell. Here, that's what's inside sell. So after changing the names here, so select the table and then change the direction to this horizontal. So now select the cell inside and then control D to duplicate. So now what we're going to do here is double click and change the type here instead of header. Yes, it's going to be um, checkbox. Then we'll do the same for this. Instead of this is going to be checkbox here. So after having this, for this first item here, let's change the field so that it's going to match other headers. So now double click for this cell. If I drag this, you notice that this is responsive. So now let's add other headers. So now select this control D, 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 and then let's say D and then D again. So now let's just quickly change whatever we're having here. So now this is going to be, let's say, destination here so I'll select this and I'll change this type here to just a cell here so destination should be Apple Abuja here so now double click here this is going to be the email of the driver so select this make sure you're changing that type to cell and then the email should be james at gmail.com then the phone number select this double click here let's just add the phone number so here phone so here is going to have the phone number here i'll just add random numbers then here let's just add location that's his current location. Let's just see this guy is in. Meet some Abuja here. So now the next thing we can add the plate number of the vehicle. So here we can see plate number, <coughs> plate number, and here I'll use A B J minus A okay, minus J. Then delivery number. So here, I'll double click here and just say here yeah, order. Let's see number. So we can just use order number. I guess. So here I can select this item, change this here to sell, and then the other number is going to be hash. This yeah so here i think we need to change most of these things here to sell so select this and then change it to sell this other one again double click change that to sell and then this also it should be sell here let me see if we okay i think these are the items we are wrongly so here i'm going to select this other cell again Control d here again so once i do this here the other number, I'm just going to change that to action, action. So for this item here, I'll select this and then I'll change the cell type here to, I think we have, do we have action? So I don't think we have action here. So let's go back here and see. Select this component here and then add a variance here. 
So on this variant, I'm going to delete this item here, delete this item also, and then delete this item. So drag this and drop this here. So for this icon here, let's change that to a primary color. So let's use selection here so that we'll have a more colorful table. Select that here. So now this is going to be the cell type here is going to be action. Yeah. So now if I select this last one here, this for the cell type here, we're going to have action. So we have this. So now let's just quickly arrange this because part of that is so let me just drag that here. So now what I'm going to do here is for the other number here, I'll double click and then try to adjust this here. So that is going to accommodate this item here. So let's adjust the weight here. We have this and then adjust the weight also here. So let's double click here. And for this item, let's see each of the item inside. Now let's select all the items inside. Including this. So now instead of fix, I will just say fill container here. So we have that here. So with the exception of this here, double click for this and then drag this here. Adjust this. So now the next thing we want to do here is we want to create other columns. To do that, double click to select this. So hold command shift or control shift and make sure you're selecting the columns. Don't select the text. So select carefully select the columns. So I'm going to do this. Carefully select this. After selecting all the columns, you can now press Ctrl D to duplicate this. So we can do that till we get to the bottom here. Okay, so now we have this. So now uh, one thing I observe is our text are all centered. So let's try to align our text and action to the left hand side. So what we're going to do is select each of this item here. And then for this, we can now align them here. So our table looks better now. So I'll just select this and then select the whole table. Try to adjust this here. So now if you want to adjust any column, you can easily do this. You want to give more space into a column, you can adjust that here. So this is how you can create a responsive dashboard. And this dashboard we're using here is from one of our tutorial. I'll be linking that in the description below. So thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button. And if you're an already subscriber, please turn on the notification. Thank you.